What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of Monday Night Raw, the go home show for Survivor Series, man. Definitely gotta talk about this. Well, really, the most noticeable thing, y'all already know um, what we gotta talk about, but we gotta lead up to what led to certain things happening. So, before we get into this, I want to give a shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream on Twitch and on YouTube. We appreciate y'all. Y'all make these shows that much better when we do the live stream reaction, uh, which you guys were also going to do one for Friday, the go home show for uh, Friday Night Smackdown. And we're going to be live streaming, uh, doing live stream reactions for Survivor Series this weekend. Looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a great weekend for all of us. So beginning of the show drew basically wanted to explain himself on what happened uh previous week on him costing jay and cody the tag team uh championships so he basically said what drew has been saying this entire time he does not really forgive jay he doesn't like the fact that jay is on monday night raw and he it's not sorry for what happened. Uh, I love this promo. You know, they they had a spotlight on him uh, the entire time. And he's talking into the hard cam, everything else. The lights are kind of dimmed everywhere else. They just had a spotlight on him. And he's basically saying, like, when at Clash at the Castle, I had the opportunity to defeat Roman Reigns. You and your family, Jay, cost me that opportunity. I've been sacrificing my time to spend with my family and loved ones because, you know, I'm I'm chasing this dream, chasing, you know, my my passion and love for wrestling. I'm always over here, you know, doing the thing that I love to do. So when I finally have an opportunity to show my hard work towards my family, your family took that moment from my family. And I thought that was a very great line. And that's why this hatred is so deep so he is like what i did to you how you felt i took a great a potential great moment from you that's what you did to me you never apologized to me or anyone else in the back for what you did so i did that to you and the reason why i'm even joining uh with siding with judgment day uh going to be the extra member in uh war games this year um, it's not because I want to join up with him because he made it very clear. No, I'm not joining the judgment day. That's not it. I'm helping them in this war games match because Rhea Ripley is giving me an opportunity to have you locked inside a cage with me so I can destroy you. And that's it. That's how deep his hatred runs. His hatred is so extreme that he doesn't care for the judgment day he's only helping them just so he can get his hands on <laughs> jay uso and there was even a backstage segment after all of this where he's talking to the members of judgment day damian priest not really a big fan of him as well <clears throat> and they have a uh, a face to face and uh drew made it very clear like i don't like none of y'all i really don't like anybody here but I hate Jay. So that's the only reason why I'm here doing what I'm doing. And, you know, Damian Priest has his issue with uh, Drew as well. Like, you cost me the World Heavyweight Championship. What do you mean? You know, so I like that there's that dynamic that Drew and Damian don't like each other. And there could be some conflict going into the match that could be very interesting to see how that plays out in the War Games match. Because I do feel like they're going to clash at some point because they just they don't like each other and uh I'm, I'm very interested to see that little side plot line playing out but ultimately damian priest uh decided to let drew be the one to face jay in their match at in the uh, at the end of the show to see who would be who would have the 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 man advantage going into war games so that was the main event jay versus drew we've already seen this match a while back but now there's bigger implications because whoever wins 
gives their team that man advantage going into uh, uh, war games. And throughout the show, uh, the basis was the um, the baby faces are trying to find that fifth member to potentially help them out. And Cody says, you know, I, I think I found someone that's interested in helping us out uh, in war games. So we get to the main event, Jay versus Drew McIntyre. Very, uh, very um, um, enjoyable match. It was a, it was a good main event. Um, they work well together in the ring. And obviously there's that tension that history and drew wants to destroy him and uh it, it's just i like that dynamic of past storylines still you know being brought up and and causing you know chaos and and animosity between certain wrestlers i like storylines like that the continuity of it um but ultimately drew ends up pinning and i was very surprised by this i i actually thought for a little bit that maybe they would give Jay the win here, but it kind of made sense because you want the heels to have that extra man advantage because, you know, it's just better storytelling that way. Uh, you don't want the baby faces to be up. You want the heels to have that advantage. But Drew ends up pinning Jay with the Future Shock DDT. Was not expecting that, but he pinned Jay with the Future Shock DDT. And then Rhea comes out there to congratulate him. And Rhea's like, yo, go ahead, beat the crap out of him. So he's, you know, beating the crap out of Jay or whatnot. Jay uh, wants to, you know, decides to get a steel chair. That's when the rest of Judgment Day come out there, starts jumping him. Then that's when the rest of the baby faces come out there with their steel chairs. And it's kind of like a standoff. You know, they start smacking everybody, everybody in Judgment Day with the steel chairs. They got everybody out the ring. The baby faces in the ring. And Cody gets a microphone and he says, you know what? I did find that last member. And you you can kind of say we have a, a, a legacy. And once he said legacy, the crowd popped. We all knew. And I obviously he didn't say it like that verbatim. But it's the fact that once he said we have a legacy, I... I Crowd went crazy. That's that's all people wanted to hear. You heard that, and uh, you you know he said y'all looking at us like prey. No 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 no. That's not we're not prey, but we do have an apex predator. And yep, crowd once again popped even more without even without him even saying his name. Then the crowd starts chanting Randy, 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 and that's when Cody he doesn't even say his name. He's like. Yeah, the crowd's right. You know what I'm saying? So it was basically Randy Orton. But what made this segment that much better? Obviously, them, you know, Randy Orton being the, the fifth member is always cool. And the crowd knowing that and getting excited. And everyone else in the ring is excited. But Jay wasn't. And I love that. Jay was not excited. He was actually, he had a look of concern on his face. And this is why I say continuity matters. Because per storyline, Jay and Jimmy are the reason that Randy Orton got injured and was pretty much off TV, which only left Matt Riddle to fend for himself. It's per storyline wise, Jay was the reason that happened. Jay and Jimmy, the bloodline. And that's what I love because that's going to be some good story. Because if you're going to have some continuity, you got to play into that. You got to be like, you're the reason why I was put on the shelf anyway. So the question will be, and I'm very interested because I want to know how this is going to play out. Will Jay catch an RKO for his troubles? Because Randy didn't forget. And I'm I'm loving this. This is this is what I oh, I love this. That subtle moment. And they kept showing him. Everybody in the ring is excited that Randy Orton's on their team. Except Jay. Jay's looking at everybody with this. Damn. That is so good. And I hope they play that up. I hope we get some type of interaction with Jay and Randy Orton. Will he get RKO'd for his troubles? I don't know, but this was great. So it, it hyped me up even more. I think a lot of people ex expected it to be Randy. Randy Orton is the new member uh, for the Babyface team. And once again, they can really do some things here because you can, there's, there's some feuds you can go off with. 
and everyone has a history with Randy. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the baby faces have a history with Randy. You can really go off with that. You know, Seth Rollins and Randy Orton, they have history too in the authority. Obviously, Jay has history with him causing, you know, him and his brother in the bloodline pretty much taking out Randy Orton. And of course, Cody, of all people, have history with him. So they really, they have so many branching stories they can do with Randy being there. It's going to be fantastic, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Did this excite you even more for uh, Survivor Series and War Games in general? Knowing that Randy Orton is going to be one of the, the fifth member uh, for the baby faces side of things. Did this excite you more? Where do you think the potential story is going to go with Randy Orton? Do you feel like he's going to turn on them at some point in the match or maybe after the match? Who knows what's going to happen? What do y'all think is going to happen with Jay and Randy when they finally see each other? Like Jay was looking kind of nervous about this news. So where do you guys think uh, the story is going to go in war games? I do think there's going to be some issues with Judgment Day, including drew mcintyre and damian priest because once again he said it himself i'm not a part of the judgment day and i don't like you guys he's only there for jay uso and to destroy him so what's gonna happen with that dynamic not everybody's gonna be on the same page like you know people think judgment day is gonna be on they've been teasing some tension there too so i'm looking forward to this it's gonna be fantastic appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still on the speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all on the next one peace